Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have a great and wonderful day. And of course, this is what I was bringing forth earlier today when the whole Canada type thing was going on, right? Where I dropped that video and that was seems to be the case here. Well, look no further than this one to where even us in the United States, uh, we are having our own people jailed. We're having the freedom of press arrested and violating the First Amendment by the DOJ, by the FBI, because we're not allowed to speak our thoughts anymore in this country. And I want people to obviously gratefully know that they need to fight back against this atrocity, breaking our First Amendment. They have um, continuously been doing this for the past four years now, and they're going to continue to do this until we fight back, until we make noise, because this is insanity. We have this here from the Post Millennial. Uh, FBI charging Docs and Steve B Baker, January 6th case, show he was working as a journalist. F uh, it goes on to say, Bar Baker was arrested by the FBI in Dallas, Texas, on four nonviolent misdemeanor charges over his coverage of the January 6th riot at the U.S. Capitol. FBI charging documents in the arrest of Blaze Media investigative journalist Steve Baker over his coverage of the January 6th protests and riot at the U.S. Capitol in 2021 show that he was working as a journalist when he entered the Capitol building to document the things go the thing the, uh, the goings on. FBI charging documents describe Baker working as a journalist while at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. The documents state that Baker had been video recording the event and providing commentary as to what had been occurring inside and outside the Capitol building. In Figure 3 on page 4 of the charging document, the FBI states, At approximately 1.19 p.m., Baker recorded his approach toward a double fence manned police lying at the base of the West Plaza. Baker moved past a black damaged half fence into steps, leading to the police position bicycle racks. In Figure 10 on the page of, uh, 8, the FBI describes Baker as performing the actions of a journalist. This includes the federal agency referring to uh, Baker as a narrator in a video that had been captured from the, both inside and outside the Capitol. In the video, Baker reports that reports the events that have been occurring, specifically the police killing of conservative veteran Ashley Babbitt, the U.S. Uh, Capitol Police Department's response to the riot, and city officials acknowledging that a curfew, ha curfew had been set. Uh, the FBI states in the document, from the exterior steps to the House of Representatives, Baker narrated, but uh, I don't think she's going to make it, referring to protester Ashley Babbitt, who was shot to death by Capitol Police. Now they have announced a curfew for D.C. from 6 to 6. I don't think it's going, it's going to happen. I think that uh, we may have just seen the, tr the true first shot in this war, Baker later continued. They came in a came in heavy man, we got to the house uh, door, the house of representatives entrance, they came in hardcore, automatic rifles, everything. It's an amazing situation situation out here. He reported both the events as they were unfolding in his protest perspective on them. So here's the thing, FBI. No, oh, I'm really curious about this. So, um, if you know he was reporting as a journalist, and it shows in your document he's reporting as a journalist, then why in the bloody hell are you even re arresting him? It seems you're uh, forgetting the very First Amendment, and you're violating that First Amendment, and not caring about the freedom of the press, or freedom of anything for that matter, because you are dictators, you are fascists. Anybody that goes against your narrative, that goes against what you're talking about, it's a huge issue. Um, we're going to go further down into the article here on what's going on, but the insanity continues. The actual FBI is insane. I don't, I cannot believe this organization. This is the reason why we need it demolished. We need the CIA. We need the FBI. We need the, uh, uh, uh all forms of that type of government stuff completely shut down. Shut down. Just gone. Removed from society. Because... They're obviously a very corrupt organization, and I don't even know we shouldn't have an organization that comes up and does things like this, because I think it can be used for, obviously, a horrible power. Or the only other way I could probably think we would redo the FBI or abolish it completely is by making a completely different organization that is not called the FBI, and obviously remove the CIA, because I don't think we should have the CIA at all, and just have the FBI uh, uh, just be, or FBI call something else, and then put 
heavy, and I mean heavy laws into things like this, that if the if that or the new organization does anything relative to this, that they can be immediately demolished and redone again, or, and at the very least, the people that are committing these atrocities will be immediately fired and then jailed for at least a minimum of 30 plus years. Why, oh, Jam reports, why are so, why so hard? Why are you being so hard? Because we have to avoid situations, things like this, from happening ever again. They should never, if they go against the American people, if they're spying on the American people, if they're arresting American people, especially when it comes down to, uh, 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 for political reasons, they need to be jailed for 30 plus years. They should not be able to do what they're doing to the American people now the, at all, period. It's insanity. Because here's the thing. It may not be you right now, but at some time, at some point or another, it will be you. And you'll be the one sitting behind bars. Or your family member will be the one sitting behind bars. By just doing what they do and criticizing the government, which is our freedom to do so. Furthermore, on page 3, listed under Statement of Facts, the FBI describes Baker yet again as performing the duties of a journalist. The FBI explains that Baker had been inside Nancy Pelosi's office, following the protesters and documenting what had been occurring. The FBI states beginning at approximately 8.530, Baker claimed to have been inside the Nancy Pelosi's office. Once the crowd started moving, I went, I gotta get this too, man, man. so I started following them into the cap, cap and we got in. And it was free reign for the most part inside the building. In fact, we even got into, I was in Pelosi's office. I mean, we went to the boss's office saying, I gotta get this too, man. Baker is clearly saying that he feels responsible, feels a responsibility to cover those historical events as they were unfolding. The FBI, the rest of the FBI char charging documents show Baker and surveillance footage inside and outside the cap U.S. Capitol. It also includes documentation of a YouTube video that Baker was featured in after the protest discussing what had occurred on January 6th. Again, Baker reported on what he had occurred at the Capitol. Uh, charging documents do not show Baker committing any violent crimes. They simply show Baker video rec video recording and reporting on the course of the events. Blaze Media founder Glenn Beck published, published surveillance footage on X of Baker from inside the Capitol, which had been released to the outlet by the House of Representatives. The re foot video footage shows Baker recording on his phone and following a group of protesters to document their actions. Beck claimed, uh, slammed by this FBI for arresting a journalist and wrote in the post, In the five minutes we saw, there is no or disorder or just not to conduct or parading, demonstrating or picketing just journalism. Wake up, America. By this FBI, arrested him for this. Yes, I 100% agree. This is insanity in every single regard. And it says, other prominent individuals weighed in on the rest of Baker, uh, uh, raising concerns about freedom of press violations, which are granted in the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. We have our boy here, our man, uh, Vivek Ramaswamy, going out and saying, Blaze Media investigative journalist uh, Steve Baker being taken into FBI custody for his January 6th reporting. Ex Fox News reporter Catherine Herridge being held in contempt yesterday for refusing to re reveal her sources about a Chinese American scientist investigated by the FBI but never charged. Those who pro pro pontificate about threats to our democracy should take a hard look at the threats to freedom of the press. And this is the actual video here. This is Steve Baker. This is the man that is being arrested for doing journalism. Freedom of press. The First Amendment. And he is being arrested. This is insanity. The FBI, the Biden administration, is completely out of control. And I know there's going to be some people here that is going to be going to say, Oh, well, it's okay. He did something wrong. No. It's okay, we, we can avoid this. No, we cannot avoid something like this. We, I am continuously replaying this so you people can see that this man here has been arrested for doing his job and not violating the First Amendment. The FBI, the Biden regime, the communist dictator of this country is arresting U.S. civilians for their a First Amendment. It is completely insanity on what's going on here. Complete insanity. And we have this here from Major Taylor Green. The Biden regime just arrested journalist Steve Baker for covering January 6th. Owen Shore was locked up as well. Free press is dead in America when the government jails journalists who refuse to report the regime's political agenda and lies. And then we have this. The FBI is now rounding up journalists. Steve Baker of the FBI's was taken into custody for, for his reporting on January 6th. Let that sink in. They took him in cuffs for reporting. 
Yes, that's exactly what they're doing here. We have the charges include knowingly entering or remaining in any restricted building or grounds without lawful authority, disorderly and destructive conduct in a restricted building or grounds, disorderly conduct in a capital building, and parading, demonstrating, or picketing in a capital pick built building. The Justice Department has used nonviolent misdemeanor charges to convict and imprison hundreds of nonviolent protesters who were in Washington, D.C. to attend a rally with then President Donald J. Trump and then move to the Capitol building. Biden's special counsel, Jack Smith, has used obstruction of an official proceeding theory as a basis for half of the charges against Trump in the January 6th case against him. James Lee Bright, a Burr Acres attorney, told the blaze that it's chilling to witness federal authorities going after people who were legitimately functioning journalists that day. Yeah, this is insane. This is absolutely insane, and this needs to be dealt with. We need to raise hell. We need to do something about this, because the fact that the FBI, our government, can come after us for just reporting and doing our First Amendment rights is complete insanity, and it needs to be stopped immediately. I think the Supreme Court have to be, should become involved in this, because this is fascism at the highest level. It's complete insane. All right, guys, that's the video. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care, and be safe out there, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. Cause it's algorithmic disease, the social media.